Good morning. Hey, good morning, and welcome back. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Doing great. We are back at it. I can't believe we've had two weeks off, and I completely <laughs> forgot everything I was doing. It totally gone. Just poop, gone. <laughs> <laughs> I opened up the yeah. map, and I said, where the heck is all this? I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Same thing here. Yeah. Same thing that here. is the danger. That is the very real danger, new players, of playing a campaign game. And taking any time off, but Roger and I are back. Welcome to those of you watching this after the fact on YouTube. Uh, this is session number three of our rematch of session nine, the campaign game from Hood Strikes North. I have no expectations for today at all. Uh, I was looking back after I edited and put the last one out, and people were talking to me saying, "Wow, that was that was relatively combat free." And I said, "Well, it you know it is early in this particular campaign." So that's to be expected, a lot of maneuver. Uh, but apparently the Vegas odds makers are out there trying to figure out when I'm going to start attacking, when and if. I don't know. Who knows? Well, what are you thinking? Well, like you said, I, I kind of lost track of where, where we were. Um, just looking at the situation. Why don't you tell people where you have gotten to thus far mentally, and then I will go through what I'm doing, and then we'll kind of assess where we're going to go forward. Well, historically, we're ahead of the schedule. This is, we're on turn six, which is the November 28th, and we should be uh, racing to Spring Hill, and I've made it to Spring Hill. So I think, you know, I guess I've got kind of on one hand on the other hand as I'm looking at things over. Schofield, he's got his army well in hand. Good, to get, and I've got a night march coming up, which is excellent. I was managed to get two units up at the Natchez Trace, so you're going to have to deal with that. I'm shaking my fist at the screen right now, just for those of you. Who my wagons are in good shape, I think, barring catastrophe. I think I'll get them to Nashville, especially, like I said, with this night march. But the thing, and I remember being concerned about this, is I am not getting reinforcement <laughs> rolls. are not been kind. And for people who may not be aware, I, I have to roll for reinforce on a table, and I get levels. And uh, so far, I haven't gotten any. And it's at least three levels before I get Smith's infantry into Nashville. And that's really what I need uh, to make me feel better. And I haven't gotten them. And they're probably looking at the table. I'm trying to do some math here. We're on turn six with a minus two die roll for the next two. I'm probably at least at best, three days away from getting that infantry into Nashville. Clearly, you've got uh, Van Cleve and the uh, and the boys up there shaking, but they're yeah, entrenched. I, I, remember, I remember pulling those guys out of Murfreesboro, because if I lose Murfreesboro, that would be bad, because you get points for that. But if I lose Nashville, it's to lose the game. And you can... Uh, the way the Confeds have moved, you could sweep around one of my uh, flanks. Especially that eastern flank is uh, Stewart's in pretty good shape. I mean, he's pretty far back. So he's at least three days away. But yeah, that's my big concern, I think, right now, is that you could sneak into Nashville. Van Cleve and those guys are kind of more of a road bump than a stopping block. But we'll see how today goes. So how, how are you feeling? Well, I wish I was as confident as Schofield is with the concentration of forces, but it your good movements through Columbia have forced me to, as Ross Geller would say, pivot! And I've had to spread the forces. Now, I was obviously committed to the Natchez Gambit, which we're calling, uh, sending Cheatham uh, and forces up along that, and you just brilliantly got Stuart and Croxton in the way uh, as a very stalwart road bump. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with that. How much time do I commit to that? Because now I am on the timetable. There was some comments, and again, thank you all for your, your feedback. Uh, in the comments section, a couple folks who questioned why I rested Lee's forces, Clayton and Stevenson back there when they were just at Fatigue 1, but they were also exhausted. So I am of a mind that if if I can get everyone to good marching order, I think it's just years of playing the Union forces so much. You, you know, just treat them like they're, you know, so brittle. But I just wanted to make sure that I had a couple of good days of hard marching to react to whatever Schofield's going to do up the the pike here. Uh, and then, as you as you point out, I got very lucky getting Stewart down there to the to the southeast 
and that gives me some options there as far as how I utilize that tool. And forest and cavalry are now all at tip top, so I, I have a lot of options for how I'm going to utilize them, and that, again, just depends on how the night march progresses, which ones you decide to move, and, and how I'm going to react to that. So a lot of cat and mouse back on this one, and I'm, I'm just very pleased that there have been, we had a bloodless uh, handover of Columbia, so I can start getting, I can start harvesting some points from that with, with no losses on the interim. But other than that, yeah, I wish, I wish my moves were a little bit better, but I have not had the, the suffering of the rain turns as you did last time. So uh, to that, I am quite, quite grateful. But today will be very cool. I think we'll probably get a couple of turns in today, pr providing that uh, we don't have anything out of the ordinary happen. But you get your night march, so let us go through uh, the table here and look at what we got. So we did our random events. You now get to try your Union Manpower Enhancement for this phase. Okay. Oh, it's a single die roll. Looking for a six would be nice. Oh, oh I call <laughs> Go buy a lottery this ticket right get, now. <laughs> this means I get one. Uh, that first die roll um, always seems to make the session. So that's one infantry and one cav. And I think the cav are capped at three and infantry at 11. That is correct for divisions, right? So I think the place to put a cav unit, I'm going to give it to uh, Stuart. So he gets an extra manpower from out of nowhere. Good for him. And <laughs> extra infantry. Sending runners right. back to Franklin and, you know, with Wilson saying, send them up here. We need people up here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I'll give the extra infantry to give it to Ruger. Close to five. So that was that die roll. Okay. All right. So we uh, move on to. So this is for turn six. That table is now a minus two to my die roll. Okay. Come on, one. Come on, one. Well, one, two, or three, actually. Oh, oh another six. Uh, that's nice. So that result uh, is a minus two. So that's a four. So I can bring on two of my re two levels of reinforcements. Okay. So Nashville and Mur so, Murfreesboro will get a little bit of bump this time. Yeah, so Hammond goes in. I think they go directly into the town. In they do. The town yeah, squares. either one of the two. So let's put him here. And then I get uh, Knight and G. Johnson go into Murfreesboro. Okay. Very nice. That makes me feel better. <laughs> that makes me feel worse. <laughs> Because now I next, if I get the next reinforcements, I start to get Smith into Nashville. Right. That's that's the key. Um, okay, now are we leader transfers? We are at leader transfers. Because you don't have any. I don't have any. any yeah, we're all done for me until turn ten. Okay. Okay, leader transfer. Okay, I'm first. I'll take Hatch. He's going to transfer to Stewart and Croxton, which I think he also can control Croxton. And. I'll leave Stanley where he is, and so that's, that's it for me. Just that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to move uh, Lee back to Stevenson. And I think that's the only one of consequence at the moment. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Just, just Lee. So we move on then to... Attachments. Do you have any attachments? Attachment. Yeah, I got quite a few here. Um, make sure I make sure I do these correctly. First, is sub one is going to go into Whitaker, and then so yeah, I can't attach the one twenty third Indiana and sub two into Wood. Does that make Wood eleven? Yeah, so they're both going to attach to Wood. I think I can attach two units at the same time. Yes, you can. I can only do one. Yeah, you can do two. Nice, powerful unit now. Super, super division. Uh, okay, I can't take Waters into Wagner because that would make Wagner too big. So that's it for my attachments. Okay, well then we uh, will move on to the action cycle, which I have no more arrivals. So you get your night march. I'm going to declare a night march, and so the special rules apply. So I get the first two action phases. Uh, automatically, no die roll. Right. Uh, I may do a march or activate leader, and the same unit leaders may activate in both phases. 
Um, if I do an act, um, march action or an infantry leader, activate leader, the minimum unmodified die roll is three. Uh, and I don't roll for extended marches. Which That's is pretty nice. Right. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to use Schofield to activate. Uh, he can activate up to five infantry and three wagons. There's only one wagon. So I'm going to see if I can do my counts here now. Yeah, who's going to be your rear guard? I'm going to leave Ruger behind. So it's going to be Wood, goes to fatigue one. I have to march through Ruger. Uh, Wagner goes to fatigue one. Wagon C goes to fatigue one. Waters goes to. I could leave Waters behind. I don't leave Waters behind. You got Forrest could kill him if you get the initiative. So we'll take Whitaker to fatigue one. And Cox to fatigue one. Here's my die roll, min three. And it's a three. So that means I can go four hexes with everybody. Well, let's do the easy one first. Waters is going to go first. Before he moves, is, do you want to move Schofield? I'll leave Schofield where he is. So Waters is going to go one, two, three, four. Stay on the road here. One, two, three, four. Or the pike, I should say. Uh, Stanley with Wagner. One, two, three, four. Okay, Wood's going to go one, two. There's a hill. Oh, hill. Uh, it's the same as the clear. Yep. No, same. As, okay. One, two, three, four. Whitaker. One, two, three, four. He'll stay on the pike. Goldfield and Cox are going to go. One, two, three, four. A second activation. Uh, this time it will be Ruger, and I'm going to leave Wagner. Won't be activated. So Wagon C and Waters, Whitaker, Wood, and Mr. Cox, and Ruger will go to Fatigue 1. So no extended die rolls needed. So die roll plus 1, min 3. Get my min 3. So it's a 4. Do the easy one again. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wagon C can land on top of him. So Whitaker will go 1. Two, three, four to Woodland. Wood will go one, two, three, four. Ruger will go one, two, three, four. Goldfield and Cox go one, two, three, four to the toll house. I think that's all right. Um, so our first unit. Okay. Got a five. I got a six. Six. Hurrah. It's yours. All right. Um, interesting. How do you solve a problem like this? Well, I guess perhaps we should utilize the mobility of the cavalry. So if force is going to activate everybody to fatigue level one. Here is their movement of plus three. And it's a nine. Okay. Have Buford and his cavalry. I guess I'll just do them individually. So Buford and he will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. Crossland will join. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have Ross join them as well up there. And Jackson will go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven to there. And Forrest and his cavalry. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine to there. All right. I think that'll do. Initiative. Six. Well, that's going to be yours. Yours. Okay. Tough choice. Yeah, we'll, we'll try some combat here. See if we can't slow down Wagner. So Forrest is going to declare an assault. 
And he's going to activate all three of his units to try. So they'll go to fatigue level two. Here's the assault attempt on Stanley. That's three, so he can bring all of them in. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think what we got here is plus one for assault, plus one for forest, and a plus two for final flank, and then a minus one for ratio of one to two. Oh, and uh, art and artillery. Uh, so I've artillery. Yep. Yeah, so you've got one piece, and I've got one piece. So it's a one in clear, because you've only got one. So it looks like a plus two. All right. Uh, so there's a plus two. Okay. Here's the attack roll. Three. Ah. Five. So it is a zero Five. zero. Uh, so I am a five so it's a 1d for me and a d uh, a d for you so i will take it off of yeah. uh armstrong okay so use the sword now and they will all go d increases three fatigues flip he's now disorganized he's disorganized my first manpower loss so you're winning the manpower race now <laughs> Yeah, I could I could do a voluntary retreat of what two hexes? You could do anywhere from one to four. One to four hexes. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So I have to follow retreat rules. I believe. That is correct. So I'm going to go yeah. to the blacksmith shop for one, two to there, three to there. Now can I ignore moving away or advance, or can I? Well, you can't get closer. So yeah, I'm going to go to the cotton gin. Okay. Okay, um, and we cannot advance, so that is all for that. Here's my next initiative. Six again. Well, that'd be yours regardless of what I roll. So. Okay. That's uh, a lot of sixes for you. Uh huh. Let's see if I can keep that up for movement. <laughs> it's more important on the movement. Uh, Lee will activate Clayton and Stevenson. So here's their movement plus two. See, there it is. It all bounces yeah. out. Uh, so yeah, it does. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay, initiative. Five. Yours. Right. Uh, Lee will take... Boy, that night march was so important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lee will take all three of his units now. And here's their movement, plus two. Five. Uh, Johnson will go one, two, three, four, five. Clayton, one, two, three, four, five. And these guys, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, initiative. Two. Yours. Okay, it's mine. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Schofield's going to activate, activate Ruger to fatigue two, and I'm going to activate Cox to fatigue three, so he'll need an extended. And that's going to be a plus two to his disorganized roll. So here's their movement. It's a five. Ruger will move first. One, two, three, and four to there. Here's Cox's extended dice roll. Whew, he's perfectly okay. He can move five. So that's going to be one, two, three to there, and four to independence. You're going to leave a movement point on the table? Well, so I'm thinking about front flanks for Fuse, but I don't think that's going to... You're going to have to work hard to get a flank on him, so I'm going to leave movement points on the table. Again. Okay. Stay behind the West Harpeth River there. So it's just a creek, despite its name. So here's my net roll. It's a two. Six. Another six for you. Right. Your first Indiana sitting there in the woods going, there's rebels all around <laughs> we, us. We hear something, <laughs> but we don't know. All right, this presents an interesting challenge for me. What do I do now? You have managed to blunt that. Okay, we'll activate... Uh, 
all three of Lee's again. So we'll have a couple of extended marches. Here's their movement of plus two. Six. Lee's going to transfer to Johnson. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then Clayton's extended march is okay. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And Stevenson's extended march is okay. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative five. One. Yours again. Okay. Cleburne is going to activate to march. He's gonna get a movement roll of plus one to two. So he's just gonna do a min move to there. Okay. Initiative. One. Oh, sorry. Six. We're going to activate Stuart, and he's just going to throw up a flanks refused. So he goes to the T1 and gets a flanks refused marker. Initiative three. Two. Take mine again. Okay. R. Johnson's going to activate low, which is two dice plus one. They can go 10. You can go one to there, delete the blanks refused. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten to Whitaker. Initiative five, six, six. six. Yours again. Forest is going to activate Crosslin and Bell. Under Buford, we'll go to two. Here's their movement. Plus three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forrest has the slows. He's going to transfer to them, and they're going to go one, two, three, to there. That's unfortunate. Okay, initiative. One. One, yours. Right. Well, we'll try this again. Force is going to activate Ross this time along with Crossland and Bell. Here's their movement, plus three. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Ross will go three to there, eight to there. Initiative. One again. One again. <laughs> It'd be raining on any other day. <laughs> All right. Well, for a penny and for a pound at this point. So cross on a bell, go to four under forest. Uh, you know what? I missed their extended marches last time, so I'm going to... Let me back that up here. Let me do their extended marches because they were people sc oh, yeah, screaming yeah. screaming at the screen right now. Uh, Crossland's extend. He's okay. And Bell's extend. He's okay. All right. Yeah. We caught it. We're rolling lows right now. We caught it. All right. <laughs> All right. Now they're going to go to four. And this will be a plus one extended march on this. Here's force movement plus three. It's a nine again. All right. Let's do the extends. He's going to we'll stick with Bell. Um, so they'll move first. Bells extend plus one. Uh, <laughs> they flip. But they get to go nine, so. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Uh, Crossland's extend. He's okay. 
and he will go one, two, three, four to there and throw up flanks refused. Initiative four. One. All right. Stewart's core moving here. So they will activate all three. Here's their movement. Yeah, it's going to be that kind of a day. All right, so we get to go three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Initiative. Three. Five. Um, one initiative, two late. Two initiatives too late, actually. The next one was to move my wagon. So, oh, well. Hurrah! Let's see. For a sniffed it out. Activate Hammond fatigue one. So just two dice. Hammond. Oh. There. Jeez. The the early horse weariness is showing itself. I'm gonna one two. You net. One. <laughs> Three in a row. Okay. Yeah. You need to go back and count how many ones <laughs> that's I've got. <laughs> hey, one for me also. So we, Well, that's all it takes. We are, so. we are stuck in a... Yeah. All right. Some sort of one leaf let's loop today. Somewhere. All right. Let's do Stuart again. All three. Here's their movement. Plus two. There we go. There you go. Okay. This way leaves madness on these damn roads. I think we're gonna go one, yeah, you two, go east, three, go north. four, five, six. Which way will he go? <laughs> Seven, eight. Oh, no, he is going towards Murphy's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Maybe he is. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Initiative five. Well, I'm not going to beat that. <laughs> That's a lot of ones for you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But the people who are saying, boy, Roger gets lucky. You know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I saw that coming. All right. Let's uh, watch this video. Let's uh, let's move them to fatigue level three. Here's their march. Oh, you're pushing Plus them. two, yeah. Six. So we all have extended marches across the board. We'll get French first. Here's his extend. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, Stuart and Loring. Is there extend? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And Waffles. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right. I don't even, I can't even, I can't even see. Oh, there it is. It's way down there. Good gosh. That's a lot of diagonal roads. Man. Okay. It's killing me, Roger. This map's killing me. All right. Initiative. Two. Well, I can't beat that. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay. So you are heading towards Murfreesboro. Ugh. Okay, Hammond fatigue two. Two dice. There wow. we go. Now we're cooking. Made up for it. Uh, so he's just going to head down to Pike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whew. Boxcars just so ain't close. what they used to be, right? <laughs> so close. <laughs> you got anything but a two last time. But it balances out. Um, okay, knit. Two. Four. It's yours. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta march Stuart one more time. So they're gonna go to four. Hell bent for leather. All right, here's the movement. Plus two. Four. Well, 
that's enough to get him onto the pike. So French is extend plus one. He flips. One, two, three, and four. We're going to college, Grove. Uh, Loring plus one. He flips. That's what you get. Yep, you'll hear about that in the comments. I'm sure. One, <laughs> two, three, four. What's funny is they're equal parts. Why didn't you push them more? I always go to fatigue three and four, and the others are like, no, yeah. never do that. It's like, well, they're they're far enough away from the action that I think I can yeah. I can rest them. Uh, Walthals extend plus one. He's okay. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So if it rains next time, we have options. Plus, with the way the dead base roller's been going, I thought it was. Yeah. All right. Initiative three. I don't think I can beat that. Okay. I can't. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to move uh, Brown and Bait with Cheatham. Here's the Cheatham and Hal. <laughs> Uh, here's their movement. Core that. <laughs> Plus two, seven. All right. So no extends because they're just going to one. So um, these guys will just move back to bait, and Brown will go one, two, three, and four, and the rest of them will just join them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. One. Four. Uh, question on the flanks for fuse marker. Right now, you have the hexes covered, but 3506 would come off, correct? Because you don't have a road into that. That's right, side. yeah. So I've got a, a plus one, right? Well, one I, I would have flank. nothing because you've got flanks refused, so... And the flanks refused would take that off. Correct. That's what I was. That's what yeah, I was my. So I got nothing. My question. Yeah. Right now. Um. Okay. So yeah, we'll take Hammond to fatigue three. Here's his movement. He can go nine. Here's his extend march. He does not flip. He's just going to do a min move to forty three eleven. He's thinking about it, ladies and gentlemen. He is considering the possibility. Of a prepared attack from Hammond on the forest. What will he choose? Might be worth it. Yeah, I think it is worth it. So just to go back over, the ratio is plus one. Uh, the type is a plus one. Uh, the tactical is a minus two. Artillery is a minus one. Mm -hmm. And the final flank is a plus two. So one, two, three, four up, and yeah, four up, three down. So plus one attack. That does look right. Okay, here's my attack roll. Four. Okay, here's my defense. Oh, wow. So plus four, man. Not a good day for Bell. All right, so Bell, luckily, I think, does not lose any manpower, but he is no. routed. No. So that is, uh, that's okay. So we're just going to bump his status to demoralized, and he's got to route four to six away. Luckily, he can go there. One. Yeah. Two. This one's farther away. <laughs> and then, and then, yes, this one, he's still four away from Hammond. Right? One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, or otherwise he'd be three away right. from him. And then we go. Now he can go whichever way he wants. And yeah, we'll stay right there at five. Okay. See, um, it was a worthwhile attack. Yeah, it was. Uh, got lucky there. With... And you only got a, a small enough. fatigue, right? Or was that? Oh, I didn't even check to see what I got. Uh, <laughs> the... oh, was that a plus five? Plus four. Plus four. Yeah. Plus four was a small fatigue. Yeah, yeah so he just gets a. So he goes to four also. All right. But I want the toll house or not. I think I do want to get there because it's a nice junction. Initiative roll. Five. Four. Wilson will activate Coon, Wagon A, Capron, Wagon B. They're all going to T1. 
you will also activate wagon C who will need an extended die roll. Here's their movement. Two dice plus two. That's eight. And the wagons can move four hexes. So Coon and Wagon A are going to go one, two, three, four. Wilson, Capron, and Wagon B are going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm not taking the four there. This is extended. And he flips. Bum, bum, bum. That's all right. Those are the new mule drivers back there. And there was no penalty for... Franklin was a two, mm -hmm. so there's no penalty, and there's no penalty for crossing at the bridge. Right. Enet. A two. Or yours again. I think I will pass. Okay. R. Johnson will take load of T2. Here's their movement. Two dice plus one. So they can go five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six to their initiative. A one again. Yay! <laughs> six for me! Where was that when I needed it? <laughs> you did that on combat. I'm going to pass. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take a load of fatigue three. I can do that, but I just need to get that one more hex out of him. I should just shift him down to Whitaker. So he'll need extended die roll. Here's his movement. Ten. Extend. Two. He's okay. And he's just going to do a min move to Wagon C. Give him some protection. Net. Six. 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 Yours again. I'm looking over. I don't see any units down south other than sub one, and everyone else has kind of moved to my satisfaction, so I'm going to pass. Has Hatch done his job for the day? I would open that up. You guys are going to come barreling down that pike by moving. Here's a reason it's called a delaying action. Hatch, yeah. Hatch is to be commended. <laughs> if this was actually, you know, like we were like at five o'clock, or you know, like it was like seven o'clock at night, it's like, okay get out of there because night's coming but night's not coming there's no late rain coming i'm trying to decide if it's worth it just, i mean you're gonna hit him tomorrow for sure if i back him up now then those guys can come screaming down the pike right away you pass through net so if i pass the turn is over i think the sun is lower in the sky than you may think yeah, i'm gonna pass as well all right sun goes down campfires begin burning and we hit recover. Okay. All right. So, new day. Hooray. Let's go through the steps here. Make sure we did recovery. No cavalry phase just yet. Victory point phase. I am going to get another VP, which just barely makes up the offset. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> now we're balanced again. Uh, so, zero points. Hooray. And then turn indication phase has moved on. We are at turn number 7, November 29th. Okay, so we do not have to worry about winter weather yet for turn 7. So random events time. Would you like to do it? Uh, sure, I'll roll. With all the ones events. we've been rolling, maybe we'll get a command paralysis? No, I don't want to say that. Hush! Hush, yeah. Patrick! Command paralysis. <laughs> That'd be great. I would, uh, I would. Two thumbs up. Okay, two die. Oh, yeah. close. Oh, a four. It's, it's rain. Rain. Star. Rain. Yeah, it would only be no effect if it was winter, so it is raining. Okay, well, <laughs> guess what we're doing turn. today? <laughs> <laughs> Today's going to be a, a very quick figure day. Figure it out day. That's right. All right. Uh, so, let's go back to the game sequence. Let's do your, uh, let me put a rain marker. Whoops. Minor rivers are unfordable, except at bridges. Okay. Well, then you get your Union Manpower Enhancements, of course. One more die. And a two, even is... I always got to read this. Roll one, two, four, a single Union Cav unit. 
and increase the existing manpower value by one. Interesting option here. Who would like to choose for that? I'll give the manpower to Kuhn. That was my manpower enhancement. All right. Then we move on to your reinforcement roll. Reinforcement. Okay. All important. One die. And this is turn seven, so the still have a minus two to my die roll. Okay. And that's nothing. Uh, it balances out. And now leader transfers. Transfer Stanley to Whitaker. And I think that's it for me. That's all my transfer. That's the only guy I'm going to move. Okay. Uh, I'm going to transfer Hood and Cheatham to Claiborne. And Lee is going to come down to Clayton. Forest, let's see, we can go through can go through Zox, so that's a good thing. Um Jackson is going to go over to Ross. And Forest is gonna come down to Crossland. And otherwise I'm good, I think. Okay. Alright. So next phase is attachments. I don't believe I have any. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to move the 90th Indiana. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, no. boys. Well, hey, that's okay. <laughs> they dug in. That's what they do. <laughs> forgot all about them. <laughs> they got oh, lost man. in the woods. They did. Now it's raining, so they're really not going to get very far today. Maybe send them to Columbia. Make a suicide attack on Columbia. Uh, I don't have any attachments, so I think we're ready for action cycle. So let us do right? yeah. that. Yeah, action cycle. So here is our is my init. Here's mine. Three. And another one. All right. Okay. Lee is going to activate Clayton, Johnson, and Stevenson. Uh, here's their movement. Plus two. Okay, that's about right. So Lee is going to transfer back to Johnson. Uh, they are just going to do a min move there. Because of the rain, there is no Zock into there. Mm -hmm. uh, Clayton is going to go 2 4. And Stevenson's going to go 2. And four to there. Okay, initiative. Six. That's going to be yours. All right. Um, Lee will activate Johnson to two. Here's the movement. Three. So they'll just do an admin move to there. All right. Uh, initiative. Five. Back yours again. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you gotta try to get Stevenson up there too. Maybe, but that would put him into. Uh, yeah. Okay. We'll do uh, Stevenson. Go to fatigue level two. And he can be activated by Lee. So here's a movement. Five, extended march. It's okay, and he'll go there. All right, initiative. No point, but we'll do it anyway. Yours. <laughs> All right. I was, uh, if I could gotten, I was going to get him out of there. But I just, man, that's yeah. just ones and twos, ones yeah. and twos. Ones and twos. I was kind of patting myself on the back for leaving him there with the rain coming. Oh, right. Great, now I can get him out of there. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> oh well. So who's going to do the attack? Is it going to come well, from Labor? No, no. That, that's, or from that, Lee? That's a risky proposition. <laughs> but I could use that extra. Uh... Yeah, he gets that four. That's well. Remember, of course, they are cavalry, so they will have the option to uh, do a cavalry. Cavalry. Yep. 
So let us uh, declare an assault using Cleburn uh, on hatch. So before I make my roll, would they like to do a cav retreat? So it's seven against uh, nine. Uh, there's no arty. After that, they just start piling up. Plus two, plus six. So plus five final. That's if you don't bring anybody else in. And that's and there's minus one for rain. Yeah, minus one for rain. Yeah, I'd say they've done their job. So we are going to cav retreat out of there. Okay. Uh, die roll doesn't matter other than see if I lose a manpower. Correct. I don't. So they flip, pick up a fatigue, and they use the entrenchments. And as we said, that's impassable, so they've got to go 35 with 6. Then further away, not in a Zoc. Uh, then further away, not in a Zoc. Mm -hmm. And I guess they have the option of 3805 or 3806. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, either one is farther away, right? So then they can go here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. They have two more to go. So they could go one more there, and they can't go into the Zoc. Oh, four, 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 six, four, seven. They're going to stop there. Okay. They're still in my way. <laughs> Just not that entrenched. Was, uh, forced you to use a lot of fatigues to get that done, though. Yeah, that's true. That is absolutely true. It's all a currency. Okay. So here is, uh, they will make the attempt. So here's their command roll. And they pass, so they will then advance into the hex. All right, initiative. Three. Five. It's mine. Okay, uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is Wilson's going to activate Coon, Wagon A, Capron, Wagon B. Now we're going to activate Hammond. Low and wagon C. So that whole group within his little sphere of influence there. Hammond will need an extended march. Because he's going to fatigue two and he's exhausted. Actually, can I back off that fatigue on Hammond? Of course. So this will be two dice plus two. So that's. Movement point is nine. So the wagons can go five. Five. Okay. Just going to move Coon and Wagon A together. So that's going to be three to there, four and a half to there. Oh, Wilson and Capron follow along behind. Three, four and a half. And R. Johnson, low and Wagon C. Three, four and a half to there. Initiative. Three. Six. Sure. We'll activate Johnson with Lee. Here's their movement plus two. Of course. Extended march. Of course. Ouch. Yeah. Right. Well, the dice dictate what we're going to do here, so they will flip. And they are just going to get out of the way. Initiative. One? Wow, man, we're rolling terrible today. Six. The agony, the agony of this game. Yes, indeed. We'll do Stanley. We'll activate Whitaker, Wood, and Wagner. He's not going to activate Waters. Well, Wagner will need an extended march because he's going to T two. So one die plus one is four. Here's Wagner's extended march. So five plus, so he loses some manpower. Three, so they can go four. So that's going to be one and a half, three. Delicious cookie time. Wood, three. Stanley and Whitaker, two. Three and a half to the cotton gin. Uh, Enet, five, two, two, me again, golly gee. Okay, Stanley's going to activate 
uh, Wagner, T3, Wood, T2, so he's going to need extended march. Waters, to T1, he will not. Whitaker, to T2, he'll need an extended march. So here's their movement. Uh, actually, it'll be Schofield, and he'll take Cox to T1 as well. So Cox, Schofield will be the act one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Schofield can activate all five of those. Um, so one die plus one. Is a six. Uh, and here's Wagner's extended march. One die plus two. And that's going to be a six. So he loses another manpower. So Wagner can go three and six. Uh, Waters is going to move next. So he's going to go three and six. Here's Wood's extend march. One die plus two. Uh, he's an 11, which I may tip him up to. Nope, he's all right. It's just another manpower. Oh, he's not all right. He loses the manpower. Cost him manpower doing this. Dang it. Uh, three and six to there. There's Whitaker's extended march. One die plus two. Three fours in a row. Golly. And he loses the manpower. Three, oops, three and six. And Cox does not lose any manpower, or he doesn't have to extend March. He's going to go two and four, five and a half points. Enet, two. Two? Two. Okay. Well, I guess I can't do any more damage. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to activate uh, the entirety of Cheatham's core. Right, here's their movement, plus two, five. So we'll go three, four and a half. Um, this is two and five and two, three and a half. Initiative. Two. Four. Okay, I'm going to take Stuart and Croxton to T2. Here's their movement. Two dice plus one. So I got four, so the movement points is only a five. That is Hooray! Not, not what I needed at all. So what does Hatch wish to do? So Hatch is going to move Stuart first, and he's going to go with him. So it's one and a half to there. That leaves me with three and a half movement points. And I'm going to declare a hasty attack on Buford and Bell. Oh. So the ratio is two to one. So it's plus one. Uh, there's no artillery. Uh, minus one for rain and minus one for hasty is a minus one attack. Okay. There's obviously no flank. Here's the attack roll. It's a six. So that becomes a five. So I need yep, a five. big six. Big six. Uh, all right. So you get a plus two on me. Which get you out of there. Is enough to get me out of there with too much impediment. We're already demoralized, but we're not going to recover anytime soon. So we'll go one, two, and three to there. Okay, so I get a D, so I'm just fatigued out, and it's an advance. Uh, so Croxton, he's going to go three to there. And, it says, what did we miss? What did we miss? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, you knit. Four. Four. Four, yours. Okay. Then we Got a little bit of distance between. Yeah, you sure did. Um, we're going to activate Bait, Brown, and Cleburne. Cleburne will need an extended march. Here's their movement, plus two, four. Mm. We're going to move Cheatham and Hood back to Brown. Cleburne's extended march. He's okay, and he just goes three to there. These guys, 
and there, and Vate will just move up one to there. That's one and a half, and he's got four total. Three. Oh yeah, he can get in there. Okay, so we'll join them. All right. Initiative. Six. Well, it's yours. Oh, I want to tie you though. <laughs> Uh, let's see. We'll have Jackson activate Ross to, to one. Here's his movement plus two. Not great. Seven. So he will go come up together. Four to there. And then seven up to there. Initiative. Four. Two. Jackson again. Ross, fatigue level two. Here's their movement, plus two. Eight. How frisky do I wish to be? I think we'll go one and a half, three and a half, five and a half. We'll just stop there. All right. Initiative. Two. North again. I believe I will pass. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. If we don't get a rain, Lure's in trouble. What if I bring him and Clayton can come, come across? Do I care if Clayton comes across? No, not that much. Uh, Schofield's going to activate Ruger to fatigue one. Here's his movement one die plus one. Oh, nice. So that's going to be three to there. Because there was a road across that creek, so that was a Zock. And five to there. So yes, you'll go to there. Okay. In it. Two. Five. I'll pass. 91st Indiana. Poor guys. <laughs> the Increased. Jan Brady of this scenario. I almost passed again. It's like, there's something I'm forgetting. Um, I was down looking at Murphy's bro. No, there's nothing down there. Lee's breastworks. He's not going to go very far, but let's see how far he can get. See if he can catch up. He can go one hex. So which hex does he want to go to? He'll go to 2709. Enit. Five. Four. We'll take him to fatigue two. Here's his movement. Again, he can go one hex. His chances of getting home are pretty slim. I think with that spider web of roads, it'd make the most sense. Now we'll put him at the tannery. Enit, three. Six. I will pass. Okay, let me look at the map one more time. Yeah, I'll take Ruger to T2. Activated by Schofield. He's got a min move. He's just going to min move into Franklin. Initiative. Five. Four. Uh, Wilson's going to activate uh, Capron, Wagon B, Coon, Wagon A. Take them to T2. Might as well. No reason not to. Not going to hurt anything. I'm a little closer to home. Two dice. So the movement point is seven. So the wagons can move four. So basically, that's going to be three to the school and their Brentwood initiative. Two. Five. Hmm. I'll pass. I will pass as well. Yeah, I wasn't sure how far you were going to try to push Cox, but I, uh, I, was, oh. I was thinking about cutting him off there, but uh, that would be dicey. I, I, I like to get him recovered, and that's yeah, not what I'm doing. Exactly. It's, uh, for To get another, you know, potentially, if I'd have gotten enough to get Ruger across the bridge, then I was going to activate him, but now that he's jamming up. Right. And I don't want to, you know, I've already got my entire army is pretty much 
See? We're both learning the intricacies of logistics in the rain. All right. Um, <laughs> I will do recover in the rain here. So everyone has recovered. Um, no cavalry phase just yet. Victory points. We've got another one for Columbia. And of course, we did move. We are on turn eight. So uh, you did the last one. So I will do the random events for this one. Let's see what I okay. get. Snake eye. Shh. Come on, baby. Hush you. <laughs> It's 10! Oh, it's late 10, rain! Which okay. is late rain. All right. With an asterisk means towards no effect. Okay. Right. So uh, the, the front has not moved all the way through just yet, but we got some movement sheet. So, yeah, let's see. The, so the fords are fordable until we have rain, correct. correct? That's right. That's right. So we've done that. Now it's time to wrap up our thoughts for the day. We've had two, two good days. Well, we've two, you know, vastly different days, but uh, Very days, I, yeah. uh, I will, as always, let you take point on this one if you'd like to talk about your thoughts. Oh, I was hoping to get my guys a little bit more rested, but you just keep pressing my, my east and west flanks here. Uh, and I can't afford to get cut off from Nashville until I get some infantry reinforcements in there uh, of strength. Because if you cut me off from Nashville, then you could potentially get in there. So not a terrible day, uh, but the rain, uh, as we like to say, rains on the just and the unjust. Um, <laughs> and I am the unjust here, apparently. <laughs> uh, I mean, I lost a lot of manpower on that. That last march, I was really debating wanting, I didn't want to do it, but uh, I felt I'm concerned with your infantry there to the west yeah. on all those fords. Yep. That again, you could come down and, 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 and cut me off uh, uh, and force me to go uh, east. Uh, east just does not help. <laughs> I mean, I mean go, uh, we've we've discovered those road networks are just they just drive you in the wrong direction. They do. They do. You got to go five hexes to go one, and so I, I just felt like I had to stay on the pike and kept pushing, pushing north, which is. Uh, but I'm strung out. I'm I'm not as comfortable as I was at the start of our session. Um, ah, yeah. Good. I love to hear that. <laughs> and I've got. But Hatch did his job. I'm, I mean, oh, that, boy, that worked he? out. Yeah, he he, he, did. he jammed you up nicely there for a while. Right. Um, but anyway, that's kind of how I feel. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> well, one of the things I love about doing these, uh, of course, is the it always comes back to the the educational part of this. I mean, we're doing it for the entertainment, and you and I are enjoying this, of course. But I like when we have two turns like this where there's a there's just palpable agony for the individual players on that decision tree and you mentioned it there with the you were compelled to move right moving all those forces you did not want to you no. wanted to rest them but this the, you know this takes me all the way back to a quote from the the mission impossible movie from 1996 with tom cruise where the little Weasley CIA manager is talking to his little underling, and he says, you, you find pressure points, Barnes, and you squeeze. And that's <laughs> what I'm trying to do here. I am not trying to outwardly attack you, because you, you were so worried that I was going to sit there and build up this huge flanking attack on Hatch. And really what I was trying to do was just make it untenable for you, even in the rain. Once I was able to get Lee around that flank, now I made you react to that. But it wasn't because of a bloody attack where I could have lost Cleburne. It was just the threat of the oh. attack. And uh, yes, by by squeezing the flanks, now I've got I've got Stuart marching on Murfreesboro, so that's on your mind. And now they're completely rested in the rain and fresh. So hopefully we'll get some good hard marching out of them the next day. But the threat of me squeezing you around Franklin has compelled you to move more than you wanted to. And it cost you manpower. And for that, yeah. I'm like successful day. Right. Um, and, oh. and also kept them disorganized, uh -huh. keep them exhausted. Yep. It's, uh, and maybe I'm paying the price for deciding to use my cab to move the wagons. Uh, cause I don't have them to protect my flanks. Right. And, or at least to do any, I mean, other than hatch. Uh, and that was, again, this rain turn was like, you know, man, how do I, uh, at what point do I separate them? But you got four sitting there who is a threat yes. to attack a single wagon train that's not protected, even with a one-man power unit. Exactly. 
um, just because of that huge tactical advantage that he has. So to circle all the way back, boys and girls, students of all ages, just because this entire system, the Great Campaign system, does have a very specific and interesting combat mechanic, of course that always drives people crazy when they try it, you can do many things, you have many tools in the toolkits, as we like to go back to, for prosecuting your vision. And while I would love to race Hood and Cheatham and all them right up to Nashville, you got to be patient. And Hatch did an amazing delaying action up there. He cost me quite a bit. He probably cost me 10 miles. Uh, and I was not inclined to just confront him directly. But once I got him out of his entrenchments, then I've got him, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to, I got the dogs trying to, tree the raccoon you know uh that's what we're trying to do we're trying to force hatch to move and now he's disorganized and everything so yeah this was a fun one this one really made us both think and consider and uh of course you guys won't see it because i will edit out all the thinking time but uh yeah we don't play as fast as (laughs) as the view (laughs) suggests at least i certainly don't i mean officially Um, it's it's two hours and six minutes now but i will probably cut it down to an hour 15 maybe yeah maybe less than that yeah maybe of, yeah. I, I i spent a lot of time contemplating i mean very commonly you can go you know you lose three initiatives in a row and suddenly you go from i've got options i can do this and that to suddenly i've got five things i need to do on this one and yet exactly i'm not going to get my next and <laughs> it's just and it just it just piles up as the as the initiatives go the one way or the other and it's very to me that's an historical thing that i like about this because that happens you have an army commander who thinks everything's great yep and then he gets the report oh my goodness there's an army corps on my flank when did that happen exactly well to that point that's why even with the rain i was happy to make some lemonade out of those lemons because lee oh. lee had that controlled zock now so he could swing around and get behind cat mm-hmm. and hatch into bond and ideally i'd love to have Cheatham's core moved further to be threatening Hatch, but where I've got them now, I'm also pleased because now they can come across those fords and flank yep. Franklin. So it's all about just, as Steve Winwood would say, roll with it, baby. You know, just yep, go, ex- go with absolutely. what it's presented. All right. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we hope you got something out of it. And uh, of course, as always, thank you to our loyal cadre of followers. And I want to give a big shout out to our first monthly subscriber, uh, Rick Salisbury, who has been a big fan of the Great Campaign System, so we want to give a shout out to you, and we thank you so much for your monetary support each and every month. If you want to, the link is there for Ko-Fi, but certainly don't feel obligated to it. And we want you to leave your comments and click the like and subscribe button and all that good stuff. But more than anything, if if you've noticed something that Roger or I erred on, we'd love to hear it because I catch some of it and I note it there in editing, but sometimes I miss it. And uh, that is invaluable. And if it hopefully if it didn't affect gameplay too much, then we can kind of just let it slide. But we do want to correct it at the beginning of the following session if, if it would make a big deal. So if you see anything we missed, let us know. Otherwise, tell your friends about it. And uh, keep watching. Thank you for joining us along the ride. And we uh, hope you have a great week, Roger. Thank you for an excellent thank session you. today. And I look forward to... Oh, thank you. We're... Uh, we're we're taking another quick break because I'm going to BGG Con next week. So uh, this oh, will, have this, fun with that. Yeah, so we will uh, we will drop this one and then we will be back in a couple of weeks. So I will try to get something else out in its stead. But uh, you have a great one. And, you too. Uh, I'll talk to you in two. Okay. All right. Bye bye everybody. Bye.